Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to make some Lego LED light systems. So if this is something that interests you, stick around because it's coming up. Jumping right into things, one of the first things you're going to have to do when trying to do your own LED wiring system is you're going to have to find a power supply that you like. And I actually have that, and I'm going to show it to you right now. For the power supply, I got this little guy right here, and this is an adjustable power supply. And I did that because I wasn't quite sure what voltage I was going to be having to use and work with. Um, and it turns out what I'm actually working with is 5 volts, which is why I already have it adjusted that way. But just to show you, you can turn it down as low as 3.5, and, and you can turn it all the way up to 12.5 volts. So again, if you're wanting to set up and do your own LED lighting supply system, I really recommend this guy. I think it's a great little power supply, and it's been working really well for me. Uh, just to show you, it is rated for DC 3 to 12 volts DC at 5 amps. And this just plugs right into your wall socket with this cord right here. And then the other end has this little adapter here. Now, it comes with a slew of adapters um, that you can use, even a couple different phones charging adapters believe it or not and then it also comes with this little adapter right here now trying to get a little bit closer for you this little adapter right here what it is is it slides onto this and then it gives you your positive and your negative for your DC which is how I have everything wired up here on my little this is actually a section of my runway that I'm illuminating first but anyway, the positive side, because these LEDs that I'm using, which is another thing that you have to take into consideration what kind of LEDs you want to use, and I'm going to discuss that real quick as well, is these little LEDs, they have some tiny, 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 tiny wire. Um, and they're pre-soldered, which is what makes these so awesome. And it is a tiny little LED, but man, are they extremely bright. Um, these come in a variety of colors. Uh, what I actually have here, this is bright white. You can also get them in what they call a warm white. Uh, you can get them in red, blue, green, orange, yellow, you name it. Uh, this is the package right here, and I'll be putting a link in the description if you're wanting to get some of these LEDs just to show you how they come. They come in packages of 20, and again, they are all pre-wired, and they have 8 inches of wire that are pre-wired onto them, so it makes doing all this super simple. And did I say that you don't have to solder anything for what I'm doing? Well, guess what? You don't have to do any soldering at all to do it the way that I am doing it, which was what makes everything that I'm doing here so <laughs> amazingly awesome. But anyway, I will be putting a link in the description of this video for these LEDs. I will also be putting a link for this power supply in the description of this video because this is an awesome power supply. And then I will also be including, because this is how I'm wiring everything, um, this is 150 foot of 30 gauge bare copper wire. Wire. And I'm using this as kind of like a bus. And what I mean by that is I have one leg all the way through there, and then I have the negative all the way through there. And that's what I have coming back to this little plug here. Now, again, what I started to talk about and I didn't actually finish was the LEDs themselves. Uh, the LEDs are actually a 3-volt LED, so I want to show you that. It's a 3 volt LED. But what I found is with this little power supply, when you turn it all the way down like that, it actually pulses a little bit. So, what I ended up doing is I took a 120 ohm resistor and put it right there, and then I hooked that to the bus so it brings the voltage back down. And then I'm running this power supply at 5 volts. Anyway, though, as you can see, I can adjust this. So, let's turn this back down to 5. Which is what again the reason I love this little power supply is because it's adjustable and now that we have it adjusted down to five let's turn our lights off because I already have this all wired up and ready to go let's plug our power supply in and bada boom bada bing we have lights guys and it didn't require any soldering of any 
kind. And these lights are bright, let me tell you. Uh, I'm very impressed with how bright these lights actually are. But to show you a little bit more detail of why I'm really liking what I've got going here, because like I said, you don't have to do any soldering at all. And let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, all I've actually done is I've been using these one by two plates. And what it is, this particular uh, LED right here is the black, which I have this side, which is my negative. And then the red is my positive, which I have going on this side. And all I'm simply doing, and I'm going to show you because as soon as I move this, it's going to shut this little light off right here. Bada boom. <laughs> there she is. She's off. Uh, but all you have to do is you just simply strip a little bit more of the wire off the end of it. And this stuff is so thin, all I do is I take my thumbnail and just peel it back a little. But when you want to hook it up, you just lay it back across that bus there. You take your 1 by 2 plate, and there, it's back and illuminated. So I have a completely illuminated piece of my airfield now using my own wire, wiring and lighting system. And I can simply take all these tiles now and just pop them right back down into place, which this is why I do mills, guys, because I can hide all my wiring in my mills plate. So showing you one more time real quick. So that is what my actual runway is completed and looks like and like i said this is wired up and lit up and just working perfectly i'm going to be doing a bunch of different sections because i want to get my runway fully illuminated um and i finally just decided to sit down and take some time and play with the wiring to see if i could make it work and man it's working great and again like i said requires no soldering at all so this is very simple for anyone to do so if this sounds like a type of lighting system you would like to do, again, you need this adjustable power supply, link below in the description. Uh, this was only $17 for this particular power supply. You're going to need to get you a bunch of little LED lights. These guys are 50 cents a piece. They come in packages of 20, which is what is here in this particular package anyway. Um, and again, it's, it's $10 for a total of 20 of them, which works out to 50 cents a piece. And then you're going to need some of this wire right here. And then you just need all the Lego parts that you can possibly come up with and use to put it together and run it yourself now keep in mind you don't have to do the bus like i'm doing you can actually just run wire straight out and up and through your buildings and whatnot but because this is what i had actually planned on doing from the get-go um, with me doing the mills plates and everything that was how i'm doing it so each one of these plates the way that I'm doing it anyway. I'm running the bus through like that. And then once I get to the end here, now that I'm actually happy with the way that I have this, what I'm going to be doing is making these two leads a little longer and they will be insulated where they come out here anyway. I'll drill a hole in my table, drop the wire down below, and then I'll be able to wire them all together in this. And I just accidentally pulled the resistor off. But um, So the finished product, I may end up soldering some of this together. But for right now, just to play around, with it and again just showing you if I just touch it back to it um, for right now just to play around with it this is a great way to do it and it works really well and what really makes this even better is because with you doing your own systems like this all you have to do is just twist the wire together if you don't want to solder it and it still works fantastically so I, I really am very happy with this particular system that I've come up with now keep in mind there's a lot of other ways to do wiring for your LEDs as well but so far this seems to be the cat's meow, so that's what I'm running with for my runway anyway. Uh, I will be doing some other lighting systems coming up in the near future, though. I'm going to be purchasing some custom stuff through Bricksmax, light tailing, and also blinky lights. Um, and I will be discussing, showing you, and explaining my thoughts, feelings, so on and so forth about those particular systems as well as I do different parts of my city. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to be doing this all in the next few days or whatever. Um, this is something that's going to be an ongoing series of videos. I may do one a month or something and, and show you guys different aspects and different things that I find out with them but um, I know a lot of people are always asking me about lighting and they're wanting to see what I come up with for lighting and here is the start of that 
lighting system. But anyway, that's all for this video. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And don't forget, if you want to try this out, all the links for those products are down below in the description of this video. So anyway, until next time, we'll see you on Bevan's Bricks.